Hey, welcome to my toy corner. I'm going to take a look today at NECA's Alien Ripley figure from the 40th anniversary line. This thing is on point. I am super excited to get this thing out of the package. I almost couldn't wait to do the review. I almost cracked her open and, and, and started looking at it. Just Jones, um, the accessories there, everything is super. I've got some great close-up shots so that you can take a look at just how much detail they really put into this thing. Um, you've got Dallas in the line, of course, the prototype alien. Um, looks like there's more to come. I haven't seen them yet, but on the, this side of the package, you got the 40th anniversary graphic there with the alien. Warning. Uh, then you got the figures from the line that are soon to be coming and out already. I know, like I said, Dallas and the alien is out, so I will be picking them up as soon as they come out, and I'll take a look at them with you. So I'm going to get her opened up. Just a couple of pieces of tape uh, over the back of the top flap there. Not too bad, although she is twisty tied in. She's going to have uh, three or four twisty ties across the top there, so that's going to take me a second. I'll do that off camera so you're not bored. All right, once again, looking at the detail, the accessories, the motion activator, as I think they said it, uh, um, micro changes in air density it picks up, so a little makeshift flamethrower there, of course, the pet carrier and Jonesy himself. All right, so I won't bore you with this. I want to get her open, take a look at everything, and see how she fits and how she moves. There's a close-up of that facial expression. It's just a great Sigourney Weaver uh, sculpt. Even if you zoom in close enough, you can see the teeth. Uh, it just as she's got the mouth just slightly open, that's just some incredible detail. Again, neck it never fails, but this one just... And I'm a fan of the movie, so it doesn't hurt either. All right, we got Jonesy cuddling up there. And... She stands right out of the package, no need to um, adjust, although she does have good posability in the legs, the, the upper thigh joint. Um, she's got some knee joints there as well. There's that flamethrower, putting it on. So I always remember for the scene from the movie with the uh, kind of awkward pose that she's holding it in with the, the elbow cocked out to the side. You can't quite get that with this figure. Um, you may... You may want to try a different pose with that, but it does go in the hand and it does go across the shoulder, not necessarily at the same time. All right, so there's that motion sensor. I'm going to show you a close-up of that so you can see just how much detail is in this um, little accessory here. It's a, an amazing piece. Uh, that just such a such an odd, random thing, but look at the detail on that. And this was this huge surprise. I figured it was just an accessory. No, NECA went out of, the, out of their way. This actually opens, has a sliding and uh, swinging canopy so Jonesy does fit in there a little snug so look at him he's there all scared Please help me all right so uh, notice the twist of the head there the head does does twist he's got a joint um, Jonesy will have to be in that very position it has to be straight on just like that for him to fit you try to cock it the other way or twist the head a little bit um, don't do what I did and spend five minutes making him very unhappy trying to get him crammed in there because it, it won't go in. His ears will jam up. So, But it does fit in perfect and it shuts. And there she is carrying him off to safety away from uh, the uh, the ship as it's getting ready to self-destruct. All right, so there she is. Outstanding figure. Just unbelievable detail. I'm going to take a look at some of the posability now that you've seen the accessories. Like I said, the flamethrower goes on there with the strap. It's a little loose in the hand, but... No complaints. I mean, it's it's a pose, right? It's a pose, uh, a static figure. So, odd kind of a slight little twist or an upper waist here, uh, just below the ribs. It was kind of an unusual joint. I don't see that one very often, but uh, except for the, some of the neck of figures. Uh, posability for the shoulders, of course, they they swivel out. Um, elbows go completely around. Um, single joint but they do have the swivel wrists are a little limited again like i said that kind of makes that flamethrower pose a little difficult to get nailed down completely but the thighs um the legs here that that, that joint is spectacular very flexible for a, a NECA, especially coming from like jason friday the 13th terminator some of those uh, this one's much more flexible so again, if you've got an action pose. You can definitely do a lot with the lower half, um, more than some of the other NECAs that I've that I've opened up and, uh, and reviewed. So, uh, no complaints on the posability. She stands up straight on her own, right out of the uh, package. I'm gonna again show you a little photo shoot that we did, showing some details of some of these accessories because it just I just can't do it justice with a video. You have to see these things up close. Um, so take a look at this. 
We got Jonesy waiting around the corner to activate that that crazy uh, uh, detector there. There he is up close. So cute. All right, just amazing detail in that uh, motion sensor for such an obscure little accessory reference. There's that detailed face again. And then got our final pose. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the review.